the integration also with subjects like uh, value education and all the other subjects also come into the lesson plan, ma'am? Yes. Now, according to NEP, integration is what is needed for holistic learning. And holistic learning will happen when you don't compartmentalize the subjects. History is separate, geography is separate, science is separate, maths is separate. Then the child is never is never going to see the connections between the two. Now, but at the same time, if you were to look at physical education, how will you integrate it with physics? Is it possible? Given it a thought? For a chapter like equilibrium possible. Why? When you're when you're watching the bowler, when he comes in and bowls, no, I'm not exactly saying I'm not saying it's not possible for people. others. I'm not saying it's not possible for others. I'm saying yeah. the first thing that comes to my mind is equilibrium. No, no, that's fine. So it's possible for quite a few. I, no, but when you're when you're using it, the parabola, basketball, when you're shooting, there are so many things that you can connect. There are so many things you can connect. 11.35 was the time given. Should we wait? We'll start at 11.40 then. Another we four can... minutes. I think there are 35 people. 35. We expect 10 more. Yeah. Yes, so we'll wait for a couple of minutes. Uh, I think, Naveen, there are about uh, 42 or 43. Right? Uh, yeah. Uh, earlier session, there were 43. Stop. So we are expecting 10 more, 7, okay. 8 more. Integration is going to stay here now with the NEP. Integration with all subjects. Ma'am, there would be a difference in handling the lesson plan for a middle school, junior school, and senior school, isn't it, ma'am? Why? Would it be the same uh, listing? Or because they take it at a higher level than what we would take it. Like we wouldn't take, would you suggest that we also take the physics into consideration when we are doing a lesson plan? You can simplify it. You can bring it down to their level. You don't need to give the, the oh, um, nomenclature. You can simplify it. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Give me an example. I'll clarify it for you. Now take this lesson on Heidi. How would you bring the physics into it? You don't need to. That is, don't bring in a force fit. If only there is any when, physics, only, it's only possible. if it is possible, right? Yes. You are not going to force fit. Then you will bring, want to bring in mathematics. How is it going to work? If it lends itself to physics, if it lends itself to chemistry, do that. There is no force fit. You can bring in uh, art for Hedi. Can you integrate art? Yeah, by drawing. And we could do geography by showing the mountains and hills. We could Correct. do PT. There you are. We could have physical education. It's about climbing and moving up steeply. So trekking, that could be. Okay. Okay. Now, when you're trekking, mostly one uses a stick. Can you use that concept of physics to explain why a stick is used? Yeah, good idea. Because she was using boots to climb up. She was using the trekking boots when she's climbing up. Yeah. You can say an old person, or a person like me who has to trek. I will use a stick. Why would I use a stick? What is the concept behind it? 
So you just need to think beyond the lesson to some extent and it will all come to you. You can use it, um, you can learn about uh, the songs of the birds, get them to write a poem on that, poem on Heidi. You can, there's no end to it, how integration can be brought in. Shall we start? There are 38. And value education is always there. Yes, ma'am. We so, can start. Today's integrated part has been yeah. our education. Ka. So, value education is also always there. Yeah. Life skills, it is called. Today. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Shall we start with the session? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma All right. Oh. Good afternoon, Father. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's again going to whiteboard, huh? What is it I need to do to stop it from going to whiteboard? Ma'am, you need to first open your presentation. My when presentation is open. It's minimized. So it's in the share screen. There are multiple windows open. The first window will be some desktop. Then it will be whiteboard and also many it's options. Only the whiteboard which is showing here. Okay. The below one will be your presentation window. Before sharing the sharing. whiteboard. It's just not letting me do that. Only whiteboard is showing. Come again. Check what if I need your presentation is open, ma'am. My presentation yes. is on. It's open. Okay, okay. ma'am. Now, now I've kept it open. Let me see. Screen. Yes, now, uh, now I got Take about seven, yeah. eight appropriate uh, uh, screenshots huh? for the presentation. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, bye. Okay. Can you see the screen? <coughs> yes, yes ma'am. Ma yes, yes ma'am. The presentation okay. is seen. <laughs> All right. Tailoring tales. Storytelling is a part of the NEP. So we'll start with the storytelling and then move on to digital storytelling. Because in this world of, uh, in this world where there are generation Z children, storytelling will have to take a different form for them to get motivated to do whatever we want them to do. So, here we go, storytelling technique. How many of you are used to seeing, listening to your grandparents telling your story or your parents telling your story? Have you heard it? Yes. Yes? Yes. So what was your experience of the storytelling? Mummy sitting down, can you visualize it and tell me exactly how the story was told and what were your emotions linked to that episode or to that incident? Did mummy sit down with her arm around you? So it was a bonding time, right? And there were also some stories where you wanted only mummy to tell you. And there were some stories where you wanted only daddy to tell you, yes? So this was also not just the bonding time. This was also the time for you to move into a world of imagination. Peter Pan, all these so-called um, uh, children's books. Peter Pan, who lost his shadow. And the shadow had to be stitched together. Look at the visual imagery that is created. He loses a shadow. 
shadow has to be stitched together. You can imagine that. So storytelling technique is a powerful, powerful technique. Some of the stories which your mom or grandmom has shared with you, I'm sure you remember it even today. Now in my book, which is from chalk to talk, page number 187 to 209 talks about stories. Because father said he has got several copies in your um, library, you can refer to it. There are fair four main genres of literature, fiction, poetry, nonfiction, and drama, which all of you know. And these are the things that fall under fiction and fall under nonfiction. I'll stop here for a moment to just give it a read. Shall I go ahead? Okay. Now, what are the essentials of a story? It needs to have characters. It needs to have a setting. It needs to have a plot. There has to be a conflict and a resolution. Resolution is the end. So characters, setting, plot, a conflict, and a resolution. Why do you need a conflict in a story? Why can't it be a straightforward story? Why should there be a conflict? Engage uh, children uh, to create interest and uh, there is something gripping that's all the more uh, uh, gets children uh, engaged. Correct. Always there is a sense of mystery that brings in a kind of an interest. So a conflict always builds up the interest. Now, what is the difference between a plot and a setting. Plot is a sequence of events and happenings that make up the story. Setting is the time and place where the story takes place. Plot describes, narrates the story. Setting describes the backdrop and helps to create a mood. Did you get it? Okay, when we see listen to a story, we will know. Now there are some of these characters. Round characters. These are characters that have many traits. They have faults as well as virtues. There are flat characters. There you see only one side of this character. There are dynamic characters who keep changing. And there are static characters which remain unchanged throughout the story. I've got some pictures here from movies and books. Let's see now. The first one is this character is this round or flat? Flat. Or changing Why now. would you say that? Why would round. you say that? Are you flat nahi hai to round. Ever round changing. Nahi hai to flat. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ever <laughs> changing. Third now. option here. Ever changing. You need to justify. You can't say round. No, no, no. Flat. Tell me. Justify. So from the first show, as in the first movie, this guy is seen as someone who's trying to harm uh, Harry. And in the later movies, he becomes the uh, person who was trying to save Harry. Okay. So, so, he so his character changes from complete negative to a complete positive. Okay. So is he round or flat? Round. Round. Okay. Hmm. Queen Gertrude from Hamlet. Flat. Literature teaches. Flat character. Yeah. Only one side. Flat. All right. What about Dumbledore? Flat character. He was always in support of Harry throughout all the books. All right. He has not changed. So flat. What about Gollum? <laughs> flat, round. What is it? I've used, I've 
drawn extensively from Harry Potter, thinking that it's one of those popular uh, books and popular movies. Come on, Golem, is it flat? Wicked character? And come on, predictable, unpredictable, round, flat, what is it? Unpredictable. Yeah, unpredictable. unpredictable, yes. So flat or round? Is round it evil because... or is it good? Has he, is he changing from the positive to the negative? Yeah. Or has he maintained his character throughout? Yes, yes. round character. Has he changed from good to bad, back to good? Yes, whenever uh, for his personal needs. So for his personal needs, that means he's always been like that, isn't it? He's always, he's always come across as somebody whom you cannot depend on. Yes or no? Right. Yes. So then has he retained his character or has he changed? Retained. Retained. So will it be round or flat? Flat. Flat. Okay. Anakin. Dynamic or static? You will have to be quick. Anakin Skywalker. You're not followers of Star Wars? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay. Anakin Skywalker turns from the changes to the dark side. So it's a dynamic character. Shrek? Static. Very static, yeah. Static. Shrek is static? Yes. Justify? I don't know. I didn't see the bad side of the Shrek. Yeah. Has I think he evolved? Has he evolved? evolved? You have to just justify. I'm not saying you're wrong. No, I'm not saying you're right. I'm asking you to justify. No, so he has always been that very emotional, fun-loving uh, yeah. kind of guy. He continues to be that. Okay. So he's remained the same. Yes. Okay. So static or dynamic? Static. Static. Okay. Neville. Very dynamic, ma'am. He changes dynamic. from. Very yes, dynamic. very dynamic. Very dynamic. dynamic. Sherlock Holmes. Too dynamic. Too dynamic. Dynamic. I yeah, think he remains static throughout. You cannot no, ma'am, expect he... Sherlock Holmes to sing and dance. No, you but cannot... you don't expect yeah. him to go through uh, when you start looking at his movies or books. You Sorry, don't expect I can't him to become a cocaine addict. Sorry? So he goes, he goes from being an addict to being someone completely different. So that character yes. change is completely yes. different. Yes. So in that sense... Dynamic. Sherlock Holmes' dynamism is a different kind. It's not action-oriented. There are dynamism will have other aspects also in his own way. Uh, yeah. Being, yeah, that's also can be looked into. Okay. What about Captain Hook? Dynamic. 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 How is it dynamic? Justify. Sometimes he acts cunning. Sometimes he acts menacing. So he keeps on changing from one thing to the other. But the negative side doesn't become positive, does it? His one mm -hmm. purpose in life is to catch Peter Pan. Absolutely. There does that no change? change does that change? He's more of a static figure. He's more of a static, He's more of a static figure. figure because his objective of take, getting Peter Pan, that doesn't change. So he's more of a static figure. All right, let's go to the next. Now, we have villains. They block the main character from reaching the goal. And they have the allies. They help the main character in reaching the goal. Robin in Batman. Mentors. I think you've not been watching Star Wars, so you don't know. Obi-Wan Kenobi, this one, helps Skywalker, Anakin Skywalker. Jokers, Donkey in Shrek. These are the other characters that you find in a story. Villain, allies, mentors, and jokers. Setting, 
can include time as in minute, year, and month. It can include weather, places, countries, buildings. But in some stories, the setting may not be important at all. Sequence. It's the order of events in a story. Sometimes it may be easier for you if they say, this is the first one, this is the last one, this is the next one. It's easier for you to follow. Otherwise, you will have to keep track, read, listen intently to ensure that the timeline is drawn out properly. <coughs> conflicts. There, there are different kinds of conflicts. Man versus man. I've given the example of Nehru versus Subhash Chandra Bose. Can you name something else? Man versus man. Conflicts. Leave politics aside. Shole. Anybody? From a movie. Shole yeah. movie. All right. Man versus nature. My example is Jurassic Park. They played around with nature and then they had to pay a penalty. Man versus nature. Anything else you can think of? All these doomsday movies, uh, the one being about this COVID virus, which came. Yes. Avatar. All right. Avatar. Man versus society. Racism, segregation, religious issues, environmental issues, being accused of something. Anything you have in mind? Do Anke Barahat. Do Anke Barahat. All right. Man versus self. Three idiots. Three idiots, yes. Yeah, society. Yeah, many, many movies are there based PK, on PK. Yes. PK. Yes. Movie. PK, yes. PK. Many, many movies are there. Most many of the movies. movies are there based on men and society. Man versus self. This could be a conflict within oneself. Man versus GT. I've given the example of moon waxing and waning stages. Do you know the story of how the myth, the mythology that says why moon ended up having, you know, waxing and waning stages? Do you know that story? Do you want to know? For that yes. also, I don't get an answer. Do yes, you want to know? You don't yes, want to know. Yes, yes ma'am. It's not that I have to go ahead. If you're interested, I will tell you. Otherwise, I'll just skip it. Please go ahead. What is it? All right. Go ahead. Now, now the reason I'm pushing for this is, this is how children behave in the class. We have to push them and go to them. And that's what I need to do with you right now. All right. The moon was married to one of the daughters of Daksha. And Daksha had many daughters. But moon was partial to Rohini. And he used to spend more time with Rohini, who was his favorite wife. So the other daughters went up and complained to Daksha, saying, this is what he does. And we want equal treatment. So Daksha turned around and curses Moon, who is supposed to be the most handsome god, saying that he is going to pay attention to all the daughters, failing which he's not, he's going to lose his handsomeness. Now Moon, who prided himself on being handsome, goes crying to Lord Shiva. Now Shiva says, whatever curse has been given to him, he cannot undo it. However, he says, for 15 days, you will lose your beauty. And for 15 days, you will regain it. That's the story behind waxing and waning stages. But the real fact is, the position of Rohini is such that Moon, during his revolution, ends up spending more time there because of the positioning of the star. And our ancestors used a story to explain the concept to the general public. 
man versus supernatural super uh, man man versus deity mahabharat is also there yeah there are many how stories, yeah right? how krishna was uh, inside of pandavas because of the truthfulness because of their caring nature uh, I, wasn't talking, i wasn't talking caring nature here i was talking more from the point of view of conflict yeah which dharm be, ke sath no dharm yeah. ke sath dharm ke sath no but there is also this uh, he uses his chakra to blot out the moon, uh, blot out the sun which is an example of eclipse anyway we can go and talk about this uh, mythology for all, for till the cows come home let's carry on with what we have to do man versus supernatural example superman batman etc man versus machine i have an example here terminator do you have any examples to give here please iron man okay so which are the various conflicts man versus man man versus nature man versus society try and remember it in an incremental order man nature society self deity supernatural and machine okay then the resolution the final now i'll stop the share i'm going to narrate a story to you this is a story my personal story i was a child i'll start with the story my mother sunita she was fond of gardening she had a green thumb and her husband a police officer did not have regular working hours so he would come home keeping odd hours she had two small children one daughter 7 years old and a son 5 years old and she was living in a bungalow which had a lot of space space in front space at the back and there was no way she could do the gardening all by herself with the two children so she kept asking her husband nagging him get me one person to help me get me one person to help me kitne baar bolna hai get me one person to help me finally he managed to get a person who was well built who was going to help mom with the gardening work and he also said you don't have to worry about cooking for him he will cook and take care of himself give him the outhouse to stay in and he'll help you so initially mom was a little skeptical so she said let us observe him let us wait and watch and see what he does and soon she said i think he knows his job well and before we could blink we realized mom was working with him side by side in the kitchen garden and they made a kitchen garden they grew vegetables and my brother and i would stand next to the snake god and see whether the snake god was as tall as we were and these vegetables found their way into the kitchen and mom said the freshest of fresh vegetables tastes the best there is nothing to beat the taste of the freshest of fresh vegetables and soon whatever was cooked in the house some of it started going to this man also and this man was called bora bora had a green thumb and he loved to do what he was doing in the house and he also helped mom in making a rose garden and my brother and i would hold his hands and go round the city of mysore where we were based at that time and look for rose saplings me with my two braids shaking the hand, head 
and the braids going this way and that way, holding hands and going there to bring the rose cuttings. And the rose cuttings would be planted, tended carefully, and winter is the time for the roses to bloom. And the winter at Jalpuri quarters, the last bungalow of Jalpuri quarters in Mysore was in full bloom. It looked like the gardening mission was successful. One evening at about 7.30, my dad was cycling into the building. He stopped short because there was a huge king cobra slithering past the gate into the rose bushes. So we were children playing outside. We were called in, come inside, come inside, quickly, quickly, there's a snake. And dad also managed to get into the house. But the snake had to be chased out. Who would come? Bora. Bora came with a stick and he chased the snake out. How he did it, we don't know. But he was our man Friday on whom the whole family depended on. Soon, dad got transferred out of my soul. A time had come where he had to bid farewell to Bora. After that, dad and mom started talking about him after bidding a fond farewell. And that's when dad told us something which made us wonder. Bora had killed someone with a scythe in a fit of anger. And he was released early from the prison for good behavior. The question in my mind, would mom have treated him the same if she had known the truth? Dad knew the truth. He trusted his family with the murderer. Who is the more amazing one at that? Bora or Vasudev Mandir? You heard the story. I heard some of, I saw some of you paying more attention. Now I have a few questions. I'll share the screen. Who were the characters? Mom, Dad, yeah. and Bora. Okay, only two. Bora, Bora. Yeah. Even, Even the kids, the characters. two children, and the two yes. children, and and the That's cobra. All. Okay, the <laughs> cobra. What about the dad? She said dad. I think dad. I said dad. Okay, all right. What was the setting? Mysore. Yes. Bangalore. Bangalore. Kitchen. Bangalore with the garden. Kitchen garden, yeah. Bangalore with garden, okay. yes. Ba Bangalore with the garden. Huge okay. garden. Yes. What was the plot? creating that garden. That's all? Keep a gardener who will take thing? care of the garden. Someone to help. Yeah. Taking care of the garden, that's garden. the plot. A person who is going to help the mother. Okay. That's all. Uh, could it be about second opportunities? Okay. I like that. Now, I'll go back to the setting for a minute. Setting can be related to time, season. Was some, some reference made there in the setting? Yes, the winter. 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 Yes. Okay, come back to plot, please. What else? Uh, 
a secret kept from the family maybe sorry a secret kept from the family from the mother and the two children the okay. father does not reveal that bora is a murderer in the beginning so he keeps that as a secret okay so he keeps it to himself so that should also be part of the plot all right now go to Wait. the next question and answer that please was there any conflict in the story cobra in garden cobra in garden is a conflict that was the very frightened situation yes but what is the conflict i just went through so many conflicts with you yeah uh, mother is telling to father to bring one helper okay and she is nabbing her nabbing him to arrange for some servant who will that's help her is that a conflict her. is that a conflict yeah all the time she is nagging that's a conflict which conflict does it belong to Uh, i think the conflict may be so her part when he brought someone so uh, for her trusting in him or whether he knows the job is that a conflict man versus dt where is man versus dt there is no dt here could vasudev malya have had a self conflict yeah is it possible that he had a self conflict why would he have a self conflict yes why would he have a self conflict whether his family will be safe with bora or not absolutely absolutely isn't that a big conflict what is the climax what is the climax uh, the secret the revealed sorry the secret revealed by the husband to the wife correct that is the that is the twist in the story the twist in the story is the climax okay so did you like the story yes what one yes, few yes. 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 yes 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 now would you be able to narrate stories in your subjects in class yes 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 now as adults you listen to the story so children can listen to the story so there are some stories which you can narrate in science archimedes that eureka moment as children we had learnt it edward jenner what story is this how many science teachers are there edward jenner what kind of a story is this alexander fleming Discovery penicillin. penicillin penicillin alexander fleming penicillin edward jenner smallpox man smallpox story of rubber who found it <coughs> christopher columbus benzene ring kekule story of hindenburg incident these are some of the stories that i have mentioned stories in mathematics can be ramanujam number story of konarak and the sundial carl fredrik gauss brahma gupta there are many more stories you can think of oops 1729 look at this the beauty of this it's nothing great but it's of interest 1729 is the sum of the cubes of 10 and 9 cube of 10 is 1000 cube of 9 is 729 result 1729 it is also the sum of cubes of 12 and 1 cube of 12 1728 cube of 1 1729 now let's go on to digital storytelling 
because we need to appeal to the children to move from storytelling to digital, digital storytelling, which they can make themselves, which you can also make. Now from page, sorry, 378 to 387, my book covers this. Now digital storytelling has got short, short, short videos, usually two or three minutes in length. And the mainstay of that is a written script of approximately 250 words in length. The script can have an audio or it can be combined with visuals to create a digital story and students can work collaboratively. Now here is a digital story made by the teacher. Hi, I am a butterfly and here is a story about my life cycle. A butterfly lays egg on the leaf of a plant. One of the eggs rolls and falls on another leaf. The egg hatches and young one called larva or caterpillar comes out of the egg. The caterpillar first feeds on the egg shell from which it is born. It then starts feeding on the leaves and starts to grow. The caterpillar shed its skin several times so that it can grow. Once the caterpillar is big enough, it stops eating. When the caterpillar grows completely, it hangs itself upside down. It then forms a protective layer around itself. This state is called chrysalis. In this stage, the caterpillar is now called a pupa. The pupa remains motionless in the chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the pupa undergoes a series of changes. After about 15 days, a beautiful adult butterfly emerges out of a chrysalis. When the butterfly comes out, its wings are small and wet. The butterfly pumps fluid into its wings to make them strong and to expand. After a few hours, the wings become strong enough and the butterfly is able to fly. So this is the story of my life cycle. Can you now identify the four stages of my life cycle? I'll show you one more. An introduction to adaptations in animals. I am a camel. I live in desert. I know you are a bear. Where do you live? My habitat is North Pole and South Pole. These are the coldest places on the earth. I am a polar bear. Desert? Desert is an area of land which receive little rainfall. Most of the deserts are covered by sand. Mm. Our habitat is different. We live in different places. Yes, I agree with the desert lizard. My dear penguin, how do you survive in such cold climate? Penguins and polar bears have some special features developed which enables us to survive in the cold climate. We are adapted to the cold climate. Oh yes, like I have adaptive features for living in desert. Now, before I go ahead, the first one was a little longer than it ought to be. The second one is just the right size. 
But what happened with the first one is the life cycle cannot be done in half. So the teacher had to go through the whole thing. So better would be to look at life cycle separately, not as a digital storyboard, because there are certain restrictions which go with the digital, digital storyboarding. Okay, we'll, we'll see as it happens, as it comes. Okay, there are seven elements that you need to keep in perspective. One is a point of view, a dramatic question, emotional content. It has to come alive, gift of your voice, the power of the soundtrack. In both, the teacher's voice was very feeble. It has to be loud enough to be heard by all. Don't overload. Don't have too many slides and the pacing, the rhythm has got to be right. The speed of the spoken language has got to be not too fast, not too slow. So you'll remember this because you will need to keep this in perspective when you make the digital storyboard. Which elements of the storytelling did you observe in the storyboards that you saw now? You want me to show it again, the earlier one? I think so. Okay, now look at these points and tell me which aspects did you come across in the two storyboards that I showed you? I've discussed two points already. I know it is post lunch. Pacing, or it's, lunch it's not mm -hmm. post lunch. Yeah. Pacing and rhythm was one of the elements. Pacing and rhythm. Okay, pacing and rhythm. What was it? Was it right? Was it wrong? Was it fast? Was it slow? Or was it okay? Good. I think it was appropriate. Yes. One is also the gift of your voice. Your voice uh, makes a very forceful impact upon a story. And the modulation of voice is equally important. Uh, that is from an English teacher's point that, of view. That was lacking. Uh, the economy, no overloading, I think was brilliant. They did not give too much information. I think it was just the right amount of information. All right. You need to speak a little louder. Huh? You are not, you're not very audible. Okay, anything else? The dramatic question which was asked from one animal to the other. Yes. And uh, yes. Madam, I mentioned earlier, I don't know whether you heard it. Uh, your voice uh, modulation is extremely important. Correct. I heard it. Okay. Yeah. I heard Emotional it. content in first story. Yeah. What about it? Yeah. When, uh, when that pupa uh, goes in his own shell. Yeah, yes. that is a very emotional part of the story. Now, the teacher could have also added something else here, but then it was getting too lengthy, so she stopped. Never to touch a butterfly, catch a butterfly with the wings. That sensitivity could have been brought in, but it was getting longer, so she let it go. The value of appreciating nature, because in yes. our days we used to catch a butterfly and put it between our books and feel very satisfied and happy about it. Yes. So today the value of it has changed. Correct. Correct. All right, let's go to the next. Now there are these literacy skills, which 21st century talks about digital literacy, global literacy, visual technology and information literacy. These are the things that we need to infuse through the digital storyboard. I'll give you a moment to read it. <clears throat> Shall I go ahead? Yes, okay. ma'am. Writing okay. style. It can be descriptive, expository, narrative, persuasive. But by far, the narrative is the most 
obvious connection for digital storytelling. For any storytelling for that matter, narrative makes the best fit. What is a storyboard? It is a visual organizer and it has a series of illustrations displayed in a sequence. And it has an interactive media sequence. Let's see, I'll show you some more. What are the steps? First, you write a proposal. Step two, you research. Step three, write the script. Then you have the storyboard plan. Then you gather and create images and create the audio, put it all together, share, get the feedback, reflect, and continue the work. So it's a cycle that goes on. It's not as complicated as it looks here. I'll take you through it. <coughs> Step one, make a template, which is a blank storyboard. Step two, add the script. Step three, sketch out the story. Step four, add notes. How do we do all this? Sir, put the two plates out. Sorry? Sorry, ma'am. No, no, go ahead, tell me. You said something? No, ma'am. Well, you said. You don't want to repeat it. It's a different issue. Let it go. Let it slide. So now you have. Ma'am, a, a competition was Gizmo Geek. उसमें हमारे एक सिक्स स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड के बच्चे ने इतनी अच्छी तरह से डिजिटल वे में स्टोरी टेलिंग किया था इट वाज वेरी इंप्रेसिव गिज्मो गीक करके कोई कंपटीशन तो वही बता रही हूँ आपको आजकल yes. के बच्चे आजकल yes. के बच्चे ये सब चीजों में माहिर है यस yes. और इतनी अच्छी तरह उसने उस, उस बच्चे ने एक कैरेक्टर उसमें क्रिएट किया था इमेजिनरी कैरेक्टर किस तरह से वो मॉन्स्टर है कैसे नुकसान दे रहा है मैं एक उदाहरण देना चाहती हूँ आपको पोस्टल पोस्टल डिपार्टमेंट के लोग आए थे मैं मुंबई या बोलती हूँ शुद्ध हिंदी नहीं बोल रही हूँ बट uh, हिंदी में बोलने का प्रयास करूंगी नो योर हिंदी इज़ वेरी गुड मैम थैंक यू सो मच सो पोस्टल डिपार्टमेंट के लोग आए थे पोस्ट कार्ड जो है ना वो लेके आए और बोले की बस आपके बच्चों को बताइए कि अभी बीस साल के बाद उन, उनकी प्रोजेक्शन um, क्या होती है कि इंडिया किस तरह से होना चाहिए अब ये बच्चों को ये पोस्टल पोस्ट कार्ड का ऊपर लिखने के लिए काफी कुछ हम लोगों को मस्का लगाना पड़ा अगर पोस्टल कार्ड के बदले अगर वो बोलते कि आप पॉडकास्ट बनाओ ब्लॉग बनाओ कुछ उनको समझाने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती फटाफट कर लेते बच्चे तो हम लोगों को बच्चों के साथ उनके थिंकिंग के मुताबिक थोड़ा आगे चलना जरूरी है अपना थिंकिंग हमको बदलना चाहिए टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ साथ बच्चों के साथ साथ चलना चाहिए स्टोरी टेलिंग जो है उसको डिजिटल स्टोरी में अगर बदल दिया आधा काम हो गया खैर अभी वापस आई कम बैक टू इंग्लिश आई थिंक माई एडवेंचर विद हिंदी इज ओवर नाउ लेट्स कम बैक टू अ ब्लैंक स्टोरी बोर्ड you prepare a blank storyboard where you write down the action and the dialogue in this manner and then scene 1 scene 2 scene 3 look at the first one i have decided to include include plenty of fruits in my diet for the various benefits they offer that's great let's prepare a fruit salad hey sis look at this melon it's without seeds shriya a fruit without seed must be fake mom what's cooking this watermelon is without seeds unlike the one you got last time which had plenty of black seeds so this three scenes are over fourth the fruit is developed by parthenocarpy what what crappy parthenocarpy is the natural or artificially induced production of fruit without fertilization of ovules which makes the fruit seedless arham how does it happen plant hormones also called phytohormones play a role in this so it was decided there will be six scenes and the script is written as per the screen and the visuals are put in there now you got an idea of how to fill a blank digital storyboard yes or no yes ma'am yes, yes ma all right no. okay 
So let's see some more. How do you like this? I don't like it. Too cramped up. Too much of matter. Too cramped too up. Too much of matter. Too, too, too much is crammed into one. So it doesn't make good reading. So this is not how it should be. All right, let's go to this. How is this? Six slides once again. But how is it? The font cannot be read. Too tiny. Font is too tiny. But the pictures are good. Well spaced out. Isn't it? So you need to work on the font. Now this is something my ch school children made. Context Nitro Dispenser. I built this model using Arduino Nano, infrared sensor, pump motor which is inside the sanitizer bottle, battery and a pipe. I program using Arduino application. When you keep your hand below the sensor, it will dispense sanitizer with the help of pipe and without any contact of human. Before I go to some examples in different subjects, I want you to tell me, is there anything that you need to understand on how to make it? Because after uh, I give you the examples, you can use the examples to make the digital storyboard. I don't mind, but you will be breaking out into the break, breakout rooms. So if there is a doubt, you tell me now. Any application that you require for making storyboard? Um, I don't know what application children used, but you can make it just simply in PowerPoint. You make the PPT in PowerPoint, add your audio to it, and then export it into a movie. There is an export option under file, and you export it, and it turns into a movie. I don't think I have, uh, I had made it that way. When you people are in the breakout rooms, I'll see if I can locate it and I'll show it to you. No doubts. I wouldn't want you to make a digital storyboard today, but I would want you to make a framework and the scripts. So you will get, you will get to know how to make it. So next time you'll be able to do it on your own. Uh, ma'am, okay. uh, excuse yes, me, ma'am. Uh, there is an application if you can uh, check it out, but it's called storyjumper.com. You can make on your uh, storyboards on that. Okay, storyjumper.com. Okay, good. You can share it with others. There may be some. It's 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 fine. Yeah, lately we had an Gizmo Geek competition. Our student won in that. Oh, great. Okay. So examples in science, cell growth and division. 
habitat and diet of certain animal species, skeletal system, growth, wear and tear, strengthening and deterioration. Examples in math and statistics develop a scenario requiring linear algebra, include statements of why no other approach will meet the needs of those in the situation. History and anthropology, narrative of an earthquake survivor. Compare and contrast the environmental degradation caused by developed countries with that of developing countries. Architecture of Mughal period with influence of Hindu architecture. There are innumerable examples for this. Circuits, magnetism and electricity. Mixtures and compounds, acids and bases. Physics and chemistry examples. And in English, you have parts of speech, clauses, phrases, conjunctions, and life skills. Life skills I have not given examples. That can be anything. Here are some apps I thought of. So now video jumper. Is that what you said? Yes. Storyboard jumper. Story jumper. Yeah. Story jumper. Story jumper. Okay. Now we'll go to, we'll break out into think this. Now, who is going to make the groups? We can make the same way as primary, secondary, and senior. Okay, ma'am. Which is fine. Give me, give me a minute. What I would want you to do, we have one about 50 minutes with us. What I would want you to do is make a template and write the scripts. That's all. I don't want you to make the digital storyboard digitally. I just want to know exactly how you're going to plan it. You can take the topics that I have given. You can make your own topics. And then you will present it. So all of you will have one person who will present it. And it better be all of you have access to your computers in front of you. So put it in the PowerPoint so that I can get to see, all of us can get to see what you have written. If you write it on a piece of paper, it won't, you won't be able to show it to everybody. Okay, put it in the PowerPoint and I don't think it should take too long. So how many, how many minutes do you think you require? <coughs> 20 minutes? Yeah, 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah. So at yes. one o'clock, we meet again here. Now, can you make the, can you use the same groups and put them in? Yes, ma'am. I'm doing it. Yeah. They'll come back to the main room at one o'clock. Sure, ma'am. Anybody who is not understood, who needs more, inf more instructions? It's clear to everyone? Make yes, a blank template. Blank template and put the scripts. Something went wrong? Uh, yes, ma'am. I got logged out. Yeah. I yes. thought so because I became the host suddenly. It's taking long? No, no. They're all yeah. ready to join. All right. Best would be to get one person to keep keying in making the template 
and while the others are brainstorming and one person to make the notes so that the person can present it. So it will go smoothly. Of course, it's not mandatory. You can have your own uh, strategy. Teachers, are you all getting the option to join? Please no, we have not no, yet Naveen. got it, no, Naveen. No, Naveen. Not, no, yet. not yet. The breakout rooms are visible. Yes, yeah, some of them have joined. Yeah, but we haven't received any. All of them haven't got it. Yeah. Okay. Some okay. have. Yeah. There are 27 participants at the moment here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is everybody gone? Yeah, yeah, yeah slowly they are going. Just few of them are left. <clears throat> 